Right, so Ubuntu is pretty close to my heart. I've been a user of the distribution since the first release, uh, which was for uh, 410, so 2004, October was the release, so it probably took me a few months to actually hop on the distribution, so in early 2005 I picked up the distribution, I installed it at work, and I used it extremely happily. That was the first time I used a Debian-based distribution, even though I have uh, used Linux for quite a while. It wasn't until 2004 I actually took something that's based on Debian, which was intimidating to me until then. And it did an excellent job over the years trying to refine the experience and actually make it easier for more and more people who were accustomed to any distro, not just Debian, to set things up in a very fast way, finding things based not on the very cryptic application names, but based on a very meaningful name, uh, not starting with like K's and G's and stuff, so actually knowing uh, what your default music player was and things like that. So, very good distribution, uh, did very good work trying to bring it to the masses, although I think they were growing at the expense of some other distributors, and uh, I think Linux was inevitably going to, to grow anyway, especially if they work in the KDE and, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm trying to always think what Canonical contributed in terms of funding to any of the pertinent parts of the uh, of the Linux Linux system, uh, and even X, because they weren't doing so much when it comes to kernel development and the graphical user interfaces. But anyway, uh, in the series, I'm hoping to go through what happens to Ubuntu in 2011 because I, as a person who uses the Ubuntu still on a daily basis, uh, and a person who's watching the news of uh, Ubuntu on a very, very uh, hourly basis, uh, you know, I'm watching every move that they make. Uh, I'm quite concerned because I, I think they do lose some uh, control. Uh, over not just uh, over the, the fact that they are the leading distribution, but also over the fact that they are the uh, flag carrier in some sense to the the whole Linux uh, Linux desktop. I mean, uh, I'm gonna uh, shut down this video. I'll, I'll try and I'll try and summarize and actually quickly think about the points I'm going to deliver and just just toss them like one go and do a ramble on each part of the of the things I uh, I have to speak about.